what's up with the planets this week we are starting out the last day in february february 28th all the way into march 6th this week we have a major astrology event happening which is the new moon in pisces i am juliet a scorpion goddess <laughs> Right, guys so this is a very impactful week and we're starting out february 28th with the moon in aquarius and it's ending it's squaring off from the end of the weekend where uranus and the moon kind of were bumping heads and bringing in some temp tension and friction so if there had been things that had not been taken care of previously um the weekend leading into monday is kind of pushing that and we could experience or have experienced some issues with that technology. Uh, computers could have been crashing. There could have been car issues. There could have been automobile, uh, more accidents and stuff like that. When we go into Tuesday, we're in March 1st. It is a fresh new year. It's a fresh new beginning. And we're just one day away from the new moon. But with the when when we get into Tuesday, this is gonna kind of freshen up some energy for us. But because of Monday and Tuesday leading into the new moon, new moons are also considered and called the dark of the moon. So as we lead up to that, those like three days ahead is not the best time to start any new projects. Tuesday we're going to be having this grand trine with some earth placements including the north node which is in taurus so and because we're starting the week out with the moon in aquarius taurus and aquarius are both fixed signs so wherever you have fixed placements in your chart if you have very prominent fixed placements especially in like your big three which would be your sun rising and moon you can feel this energy a lot more with like gotta get my stuff taken care of with the grand trine happening this energy is giving us there's so many opportunities to take care of and do things and we have all these options but the thing is is that we need to put in the action towards it but the the really great thing is the fact that it's in earth energy earth signs love to do and work with making things actually physically happen in their actual reality things that are tangible and you can like put your hands on and this is also very money focused and money driven so tuesday can be a great day to actually like you know if if you're working on a project or if you want to reach out to try and do something or something new or you have a test or you know you're in school or whatever it is tuesday is going to be the day where you have these options to be able to make this stretch and be a long-term kind of like if you're trying to reach a goal like a long-term goal this is the day where you you know it would be good to put your feet in the ground and start planting those seeds and putting that action towards it because again earth signs really like to actually plan things out for the long haul they don't they're not a you know spur of the moment kind of short trip kind of thing they're they're in it for the long haul and they're very persistent and precise about how they move so tuesday will all be under this umbrella but again we're in that dock of the moon so it may not be the time that day right that day specifically to do anything figure some things out when we go into wednesday march 2nd at 12 34 p.m eastern standard time is when we have the peak of the new moon in pisces and so this is gonna be the last the very last new moon of the astrological year because in a few weeks we'll be entering springtime which is the the beginning the growth the new of everything so with this pisces new moon it's going to be conjunct with jupiter which is very exciting uh because traditionally jupiter is pisces ruler and with it being conjunct it means that jupiter is also in pisces that's what conjunct means so with this new moon and the sun and <laughs> jupiter being conjunct this is the this is the time to really manifest and make your dreams actually happen and remember we had that grand trine happening so the energy is still still among us during this new moon and new moons are all about calling in 
what is yours and what I always recommend is when you're doing moon magic, like when you're working with the moon cycles, the best kind of magic to do is fire because it it, it takes care of it quickly. Fire magic is, is the bomb, right? So what you're going to want to do on, on uh, Wednesday is write down what you want to call in and write it down as if you already have it, as if you already have it. Like if your goal is that you want to have a million dollars, you say, I have a million dollars. I claim a million dollars. I have received a million dollars. Just put it as if you already do have it and then you burn it. But the thing is, is like you have to, when you're doing magic under new moons, especially, but magic in general, right, is you have to not just want it. You have to feel it. you have to feel like this is what this would actually feel like like wow like um that that's the key with manifesting is the intention behind it and in the feeling and the energy that you put within that and when you do that that's how the law of attraction works is when when you're putting it out as if you already have it it attracts to you and when you're working with fire fire magic is meant to to work instantly quickly fast because when we think about fire it, it's a quick thing. It, it comes in quick. It, it it takes care of things very fast and quickly. And so when we put all these things together and with the magic of Pisces of the intuition that it has behind it and Jupiter being so large and expansive and luck and abundance, this is amazing. But the thing is, is this day, some people, depending on how your chat is set up, where your planet placements are at, some people may either feel very drained or they may feel this energy of really hyped up and like, wow, this is amazing. This is magical. But either way, regardless of how you're feeling on Wednesday, the magic is still there. So if this day feels a little bit more harsh or more difficult than usual uh, or more draining and exhausting and emotional, that's fine. That does not mean that all of these magical things are not happening. It just means there are some other things within you that may need to be processed through, but it's still the time to call in and manifest stuff. Doing a meditation would be great because this isn't a water sign, Pisces, a mutable water sign. It's a great day to really get artistic, creative, listen to your favorite playlist, make a playlist, listen to music. Um, take a shower, take a spirit bath, work with water, drink more water that day because again, we're dealing with water energy. So we want to get into that element, get into that dreamy phase, really listen to your dreams, especially during that Pisces new moon too, because with all that Pisces energy, all these conjunctions happening, it's going to be a very premonitional, that's not even a word, but I made it a word just now. Um, it's going to be a really magical, intuitive day. So definitely listen to your dreams and your daydreams. And again, just getting that creative artistic flow because that's the nature of Pisces. Now the downfall is, um, in, you know, if we're talking about astrology, right? Cause that's what we're doing here. The downfall with the low vibration of Pisces is we could be feeling more easier to want to, drink or do drugs or if, if there's addiction problems we could fall more into those habits on this day also so that's why i say if you have a meditation routine or something that you usually do um during full moons i highly recommend doing some of that or at least one of those things during this new moon because of how much potent energy is coming into that and we're ending this cycle of um this this astrological year with this last new moon. So I think this would be a really great day to exercise meditation, um, magic, uh, water, all of that. Moving into Thursday, March 3rd. So if you go back to around Christmas time, we had a conjunction with um, Pluto and Venus, I believe. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. I tweeted about it. And so if you see how if you look back and see how were your relationships around that time and then you come back to now on uh thursday this energy is going to be coming up again because mars and venus 
they've been traveling very slowly the cosmic duo together for maybe about two weeks like they venus moves faster than mars but they've been pretty close together so around valentine's day they were like they were conjunct and then they're they're still moving very closely together right so what i'm getting into is venus is getting closer as we get to thursday to being conjunct with pluto now all of these are in capricorn and pluto moves extremely slow pluto rules power and intensity death rebirth deconstructing to build up something completely fresh and new and venus is all about the love and the beauty and the relationships and finances so when they come conjunct this is going to be a day where we can see a lot of intensities and power plays and a lot of motivation and drive within ourselves and the relationships that we have and then on like a collective level we could also see some power moves made by like governments and countries i know there's a lot of stuff happening right now with ukraine and russia so i would not be surprised if we heard some major news or with a change in transformation or if some crazy thing popped off coming from that end of the world or from another country establishing something in that matter as well. Um, but Thursday is going to be a really good day to put in that action and, and focus on your drive of what you can do for yourself and your goals and your family and your relationships, all of that, uh, because we just had that new moon and we have these these planets flowing pretty well together to give that like hyper focus drive of like, all right, this is what I'm going to do because this is what I want to have happen. This is where my money's going to be coming from. This is a relationship I need to better establish because Pluto's giving that I have the power, I'm in control, I'm in charge, and I know what I want to do for myself. When we get into Friday, like I've been saying for a while now, there's nothing in fire unless we get to a moon placement. So the moon is now going to be in Aries, which is the beginner and it's a cardinal sign. It likes to start things and begin things. And like I've been saying throughout this video, we had that new moon. It's time to take action. We have all these planets aligning with us to get it done. We have that drive. We, we have the okay from the planets. Everything's direct. We're done with the post shadows. Pretty sure. Yeah, because as of March 1st, Venus will be like fully direct normal post shadow. So when we get to friday with the moon being in aries the only thing that could be a little funky is uh chiron not a planet but is in aries um these will be conjunct on friday so the this can give us that push to get something taken care of give us that uh that bravery that courageousness that aries has to bring to the table um, but it could also bring in kind of second guessings because, um, Chiron is a wounded healer. So it could have us kind of second guessing, like, am I, can I do this? Am I worth this? So, um, that could be somewhat of a struggle on Friday, but with Aries, again, it's got that boldness in it. So hopefully we can take on that that boldness and, and not listen to the fears and not listen to the second guessing because it's a liar. Now, if we take that energy of that bravery and that courageousness going into Saturday, we're going to have the sun and Jupiter conjunct. And what's exciting is they will be conjunct at 14 degrees, I believe. And this is a Taurus energy right here. So Taurus placements or not placements Taurus degrees bring in that sturdiness that reliability and because the sun and Jupiter are going to be conjunct this is working harmoniously with those those Piscean energies of you may have very strong premonitions that day you may have very intuitive dreams you may feel more powerful than you have in a while where you're ready to whatever you manifested with the new moon you may start to see things actually kind of huh, 
and have some kind of like epiphanies or like oh my god I really am this powerful and like feeling it and being in your bag and being like yeah I can do all of these things if I put my mind to it and my mind is set in it because I feel this magical and this intuitive on Saturday and then when we move into Sunday the moon is then going to be transitioning into Taurus. So this is a great way to end the week because there was so much energy happening in Taurus being in the moon. Amazing. It loves being there. And so this is a great day to really just do a lot of self care and decompressing and relaxing and you know, putting on your luxurious robe and your slippers and eating your favorite foods and just really decompressing, relaxing and, you know, doing a face mask and just really taking care of yourself and feeling luxurious and chilled out. And again, eating your favorite foods and napping throughout the day, just really de-stressing and just letting things kind of flow off and, and realizing that you're in your bag. And with this Piscean energy, uh, you may want to throw on again, your favorite playlist or your favorite, like, chill music you may be feeling more in a vibe of listening to some Janae Aiko or something with this Pisces and Taurus energy working together so that's what's up with the planets for the week we're gonna get into tarot reading now and I have a few oracle decks I want to get into and obviously because of the new moon we're gonna pull a moonology card but to start out with we're gonna use the classical deck so Hold up. I know that flew out. I know that flew out, but I want to see for the collective, what are some messages that the cards have to say? What are some messages from spirit that we all need to know and hear for this week? Oi, we the devil card, man. Flew out reversed. But the devil card flew out reverse. Honestly, I feel like this has a lot to do with. I'm just getting straight up into um, what's happening with Ukraine and Russia right now. I think there's a lot of fear-based control um, that's being put on us a lot. I think this is going to be an important week to stay away from social media if we can um, not be on it as much. I feel like a lot of people are like, this. it's too much. It's overwhelming going online it's not aligning it's not feeling like it's supposed to um then we have the five of pentacles right after it that's interesting um we do have a lot of planets right now in capricorn also so this may give us this something needs to give something has to change and i might have to get real uncomfortable with whatever that means for me oh my god you saw that flew out the ten of wands yo this this is the week where it's like we <laughs> We've been doing too much. There's too much going on. It's again, it's just so overwhelming with what's happening. And this week, there's going to be this presence of being so overwhelmed. And it's like, what really needs to break down? What really needs to be changed? What can I do? And I think it, we, we need to take a break. I think we're putting too much pressure I think we're putting way too much pressure on ourselves too. I feel like some people have been like, I have to do this. I have to do this. I have a deadline to get this done. And I'm not meeting my deadline. I have all these high expectations. And it's like, you're putting the expectations on yourself. You're overwhelming yourself. You don't have to meet these deadlines. It's nothing bad. It's not do or die. It's not do or die. Maybe with some other shit, right? But um, this situation, if you're putting too much stuff on yourself, you have got to relieve some of that because when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, when we all die, whatever we're stressing out about right now, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. That's one. It's just, it's not going to matter. You're putting that mental control over yourself. You got to let that shit go. This might, yeah, see, we got the Queen of Wands with the Four of Wands. 
if you can get to that place of accepting and letting go, I'm hearing surrender too. And that's not even a word that I use. We, it's, it's just like, you gotta surrender some shit. You just cannot control and you have to take a step back. And I think if we focus on, I think there's a lot of things changing in the home too. I think some people may be, um, wanting to change and move some things around in their home. Uh, especially I think freshening the home up, putting some new fresh energy in the home. I think there's a lot of dull stagnant shit too in the, in your house that just needs to be let go of. I think, uh, cause we have this five of pentacles with the devil card and the, Ten of Wands following it. I think there's some old energy in your homes that you need to let go of and donate, get rid of, and freshen up. I think this is like a purging week. Big time. Oh my god. Yes, this is a week to purge because when you have all these things, and again, I'm going back to like if we're working with Capricorn, we have so many planets in Capricorn. Capricorn is an earth energy it is a cardinal earth energy so it, it likes to begin and stop things but it's so fucking wise because it's at the end of the cycle in the chat and it's like let you gotta purge you gotta let go of that stuff you need to surrender to what you have no control over sometimes we can feel so suffocated if our room's a mess if we have old clothes we're holding on to it may not seem like that big of a deal but it piles up and then it gets so overwhelming where you can't even see through the stuff because it's just there's so much energy and we need some fresh energy coming in i think some painting fresh putting a fresh coat of paint getting some new curtains getting some new flowers bringing some new life into the home and with the fire burning, saging, um, even having, um, something outside where you can burn some old things that you just, you know, are not donatable, whatever it is, whatever you choose to do in a safe way, of course. But I think it's like, we need to let go and purge these things because we are seeking this balance of this duality, this equal give and take. And you can't have that if you have all this old energy. How are you going to invite something new in? And we have this new moon coming in Pisces. And it's like you can want to call in and bring in new things so much. But it's not going to happen until you release those old ways, those old ideas, those old thought patterns, those old habits. You release them and let them go and not let them weigh over you. Because once you can do that, then you can have this. But you cannot have this until you do this work. I think this is that push that we're getting to let go of these things. And we're in the end of the year. We're, we're approaching spring too. So this just makes so much sense. It's a purging time in so many ways. Temperance. Again, we're looking for that balance. We are trying to find this balance. We're looking for inner peace. But I think too, what's happening just like with the world... I keep going back to Ukraine and Russia. It's like the, there is this sense everybody wants peace. Most people anyways. And popular by demand. Everyone's for Ukraine. And it's like we're, we're sending this peace. We want this peace. But it's like sometimes some really shitty things need to happen. And people need to realize that their power is, is grossly destructive and not good. <laughs> I don't. Know. I don't want to get too into what I'm hearing, um, but I think there's this compassion factor that temperance is bringing in for us. Without like, yes, in a peace and all of that, but there's this compassion factor I'm getting, and this is compassion we need to have for ourselves. Like you've done all of this work. You have overwhelmed yourself with all of this. You're human. It's going to happen. Stop saying bad things to yourself. Like, I suck. I'm a terrible human being. Oh, my God. Uh, I deserve all these shitty things happening to me. Uh, you know, the temperance is coming in and saying, like, you got to give yourself some compassion, bro. You really got to. And to do that, sometimes I think some people are, are, are hooked on to some past yucky relationships, too, um, that have not that they're just working through right now also 
that's just really overwhelming. Sometimes some people, like within friendship groups and all of that, need to be let go, need to be moved on. A change needs to happen within that dynamic uh, in, in your relationship sector. I'm getting that also. And tempers is coming in and saying, like, sometimes these people, you know, you got to let them go. It's this whole purging thing. This is coming for everybody right now. Like, not just your home, but your friend groups, your relationships, family, all of that. Some, some things need to be let go of. But it's like these people with this purging factor right now, they're, they're not owning up to this stuff. There's a blame that's being put on you, but you're not actually, I mean, you, you have some play in this, this, this relationship with these people that, that, that's are getting tumultuous. That is tumultuous right now, but it's like, they're being sneaky. They're lying. They're trying to paint a picture of you right now because they know they know that they can't control you, but they can control the people around them and how they view you. And they're painting this terrible picture about you. They are lying on your name. Oh my God. Whoever these people are, whoever this person is, this could be a boyfriend, girlfriend, um, ex best friend. This person was, it, I'm getting big frenemy, big frenemy energy from this person. And they're going off and telling these other people X, Y, and Z and painting a picture to make you look bad, but you're not, but they're trying to do this. So they know they can't control you, but they can control at least how other people view you and make you to be the bad guy, but you're not. And that's why this change needs to happen. This purging needs to happen. These people, they're draining you. They are draining you. Drop them. Drop them like a hot potato. Because they're not giving you this peace. And that's what you need to do for yourself. And with if we pan back to the astrology factor, when we're going to be working on Thursday um, with this Pluto and Venus conjunction, the Damn, this makes so much sense now. These relationships that you've had with these people, how has it played a part in your life? They need to be let go of, man, because they're not for you anymore. And the truth is coming out and is being revealed because Pluto, Pluto, Pluto is not for the weak, all right? Pluto is not for the weak. It doesn't come in and, and be like, oh, we're going to be easy. No, it does not. And the fact that Venus, the relationship fact is coming in, they're trying to be fucking sneaky. But Pluto's coming out and is saying, no, because I have the receipts for all these things. This per These people, this person, they're lying on your name. They're not for you. Pluto's coming in. The truth will be revealed. And, you know, if these people don't want to believe you, who gives a shit? Who, who cares? Seriously. Fuck them. Who gives a shit? They're not for you. They were never for you to begin with. They were never for you to begin with. I want to see what else. Yeah, this is messy. What else is going on this week? Please be something good. <laughs> no. It's time to drop them. There's this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Should I do this? Did I do something bad? Am I good enough? Do I deserve this? Maybe I did something bad. Oh, maybe they're right. They're making you second guess yourself. My God, no, let them go. Don't let them do this. They, you can't let them get this power over you. And that's going to be this conflicting sector for the week. Ten of Pentacles. This is what you're trying to reach. This is what you're trying to get to. This is what you deserve. But you can't do that until you mentally and physic like mentally and like physically exhaust these people and let them go because they're overbearing. They're overwhelming. It this we're getting so many tens. It's the end. It is the end. Tens represent endings. This is what let them go in peace. Let them go in your own. In your own terms, right? Let them go in your own terms, but just make sure that you actually do let them go. And the shit that they say and whatever about you, let that go in peace for yourself. Not for them and all these other people. Let them go in peace for yourself because that's what you deserve. You deserve this freshness, this this 
this new fresh energy. You're bringing something new in. You're ready for a new cycle, a new chapter in your life. And these people were with you for only a few seasons and it's done and over with now. They don't deserve to go with you anymore because they're not on the same wavelength as you anymore. You have uplifted and grown. You have come into this queen of wands and they see that and they see that as a threat but it's fine because you have this ten of pentacles right here and it's time for it's time for a new beginning to happen and this could have to do with home and family this could have to do with moving maybe even having some drama with your neighbors and um maybe there's just been some drama with your neighbors or in your neighborhood um I, I think some people may be, like, looking into, like, moving as well. That's what I'm getting. Um, I would pay attention to animals, too, especially if you're dreaming about animals. Dream about dogs, cats, owls. Uh, I would pay attention to see what those mean also. See, are there any other messages that Spirit has to say for this week? If nothing flies out, I'm not going to pull a card. I think that's it, you guys. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to get into these Oracle cards next because I would like to see what some... Let's see. I'll do the Moonology first. Okay, these flew out. So let me just see this real quick, okay? Got the Knight of Cups with so the Five of Pentacles reversed. I think this is just going back into like needing to accept that change needs to happen and be open and surrender to the possibilities um that can happen and giving yourself this softness and compassion um and somebody may even be reaching out to you that has a lot of like pisces or water energy in them this could be a cancer scorpio pisces that you may need to like confide in or just really vent to um that's gonna be there emotionally for you with this transition this change these people these backstabbers um talking to a cancer scorpio pisces is gonna be really good because this person really has your back they they, they help you feel more balanced that's what i'm getting they, they just help you feel more balanced and and whole um and they see you for who you actually are and the queen of wands just flipped over i'm just i'm not going to pull it out but it just flipped over to come out so again it's that queen of wands they see you as the queen of wands they see you for who you actually are they don't believe that picture that's being painted by these other people and that's that real person you like that you know you'd want to keep in your corner they got your back they're not there for a season they're there for life whoever this is now i want to see with this new moon in Pisces, what is a message that we need to know about this new moon we have in Pisces? All right, so we got full moon in Libra, a win-win outcome is forecast. So this is bringing in that balance. Remember I was talking about with the four of wands, there's a balance that needs to be put in. And this, this new moon in Pisces is, it may for some people feel like overwhelming, but it's because bringing that balance factor, you haven't had an equal balance of this and that. Um, so that's what this is bringing in for us. So if it feels like overwhelming and draining, it's because that, that purging thing that needs to happen so you can win and in these feelings that may arise and come up throughout this week is for the better for you um i just keep going back to that purging sector not everybody and not everything is meant for you or has your best interests at heart so some things do need to be let go of to be able to win so I like that. I, I, I like that. It may not feel great, but it's that, it's that tough love kind of thing. Like you'll be all right. You'll get through this. It's just something you need to push through to really see what you're actually worth or what actually is worth it or who actually is there for you. It's that good, tough love. And sometimes we need that. And I, that's what I really feel for this week. I want to see maybe there's some crystals. 
we could use up uh, ocean jasper schedule yourself in so definitely taking time for you and what is it that you want how can you be selfish um now when people hear selfish they're like oh my god that's such a bad thing to say uh no it's not because you need to be selfish you can be selfish without hurting other people around you right um but it's not your responsibility at the same time for how somebody feels and is affected when you put up certain boundaries of I need to do this for myself and saying no. That is a whole other thing where that's something this person needs to figure out. And that's not your responsibility. You are your own responsibility. And scheduling yourself in and really giving yourself that time, even if, you know, you have kids and you, you don't get really help from anywhere, you can still make time for yourself, even if it's just before bedtime or first thing when you wake up, giving yourself 10 minutes to do some breathing exercises or just lay there and do nothing at all or meditate or take a shower, listen, listen to some music. I'm hearing jazz. I do not know why. And having some incense burning. Incense and jazz came into my head, so do that. I don't know. I don't listen to jazz, but maybe I will this week. And then we have allow yourself to receive. So we keep going back to this purging thing, allowing yourself to receive. You have to surrender. You have to let go. You have to allow yourself to be open to receiving the good things that are actually meant for you because they're there. God, why? I feel like some of you guys just don't feel deserving enough. And that's like really upsetting. So I want to knock some sense in you. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> all right and then we're gonna pull some self-care cards because all right because we are rest we're in pisces season we have all these planets jupiter the sun the moon happening in pisces so many conjunctions in pisces rest and then we're ending that week in taurus rest nap when you want a nap take that rest don't push yourself too hard at all sometimes that self-care you need is rest and taking a break and saying no and that's okay look we got all these self-care cards this is a self-care week because there's so much overwhelming things baking a sweet treat could be good too again when i was talking about on sunday with that taurus energy we're gonna resting eating your favorite foods could be your favorite desserts bake something for fun make some banana bread i that's coming up bake banana bread journaling we have this new moon this is the time to really write down your dreams your premonitions your thought patterns stuff that's happening really paying attention to that stuff and seeing what comes from that you know doing some energy work and meditating also came out this is all I've been talking about with that purging, 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 doing energy work, realigning yourself because the stuff on the outside, it doesn't matter. You have to align yourself from within. You may not be able to control what people are saying, what people are doing, but what you can do is realign yourself. And when you do that, that's when sometimes things deconstruct from outside. And I think you guys have been doing that. I really feel like there has been this whole realignment thing happening and that's why so much shit is falling apart around you and you're like, what the fuck is going on? I've been doing all these things. Why is this happening? Because baby, we're dealing with a lot of Pluto energy with that Pluto return. We are still affected by it. We are still affected by that. And Pluto comes in and deconstructs things. And when you are realigning yourself, what is not meant for you anymore at that point in your life is going to go away. And that's why it's so important to do your energy work and do your meditations, realigning and connecting from within. And we're in this Pisces season where it's naturally intuitive already. So this was What's Up With The Planets Tarot of the Week. I'm Juliet, your Scorpion Goddess. Please comment how this resonated for you. I want to see what you got to say. And it really helps people like me get more reach with this content that i do put out you know what i mean i put this energy out for you guys the least you could do is comment and share this with somebody else and you know i'll be back next week let me know how this new moon in pisces affects you and i'm curious where does pisces fall in your chat